Yeah, did you come to this school? Uh, where did you go to school? We came to school in 1959. Both of us in the same class. Both of us in the same um, What was school like? Very strict. Um, the teacher wouldn't take any messing about at all, and if you stepped out of line, you'd get the cane. But it was a happy school. I've got good memories of the school. Even though the discipline was uh, quite strict, I still got good happy memories of it. And we were tested, were we? Oh, oh yeah. almost every day we had tests. Yes. Right, do, you, do you boys do you times tables? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Do you have to stand up in front of the class? No. We had to. Every the teacher, day. teacher, he'd pick on us and he'd, he'd always make us do the hard ones, wouldn't he? Every day you'd be chanting your tables first yeah. thing in the morning. Yeah. And, and you had to get them right. If he knew you didn't like number nine, mm, he'd, he'd make sure you had number nine. Yeah. And you had oh. to do it for the whole class. And of course they built the swimming pool then when we were towards the end of our time here, wasn't it? Yeah. And the abiding memory of the swimming pool was two things. One, I couldn't swim. And two, <laughs> the water was always freezing, freezing wasn't it? Freezing cold, yeah. Always cold. They made sure we had the cold water. <laughs> at the beginning of the morning or at the end of the day, <laughs> before matter. it hadn't warmed up, they thought, we're not going to keep the heating on there now, let's make this water cold for standard four. That's right. What were the toilets like? <laughs> I think the toilets were outside, weren't they? Were they at home, didn't we? Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> they were outside in those days, so I tried to make sure that I went to the toilet before we came to school, so we wouldn't have to use that. Yeah. What was the canteen like? Well, now, I never had school dinners, because I only lived 50 yards down the road, so I always used to go home for dinner, but I never had school dinners. But, from people I've spoken to, the cabbage was always the thing to try to avoid in the school dinners. I don't think the canteen's changed much. <laughs> Probably <laughs> the sandwiches are still there from where we were. <laughs> yeah, this is getting a little recording. Yeah. Oh, he's taping, isn't he? Can <laughs> edit that. Who was your favourite teacher? Oh. Well, we only had two, didn't we? Yeah, really. Yeah. Although, you know, from the inference as well. It was, I can't remember. But for me, it was Mr Evans. He was a nice, nice gentleman, he was. Perhaps a bit too gentle, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, because we then had Mr Bowen, who was a different kind of teacher altogether. But of course, Mr Bowen had uh, the responsibility of getting us through the 11 plus, which was the big exam you had to sit in order to go either to Porth County or Tonopani Grammar School or Blind Clinic Segmore. So, but of the teachers, Mr. I got good memories of Mr Evans, who was a nice chap. And, and before, you got all white balls, don't you? When you, when you, work on, when you don't work on chalk do anymore. No, no. You, uh, did you ever work with a teacher with chalk? Well, sometimes. We did remember? once in your talk. Remember when they, when they used to get the chalk yeah. off the board? The board duster? Yeah, well, yeah. we Mr. Bowen. Well, if we said something you we shouldn't, that board duster yeah. would be... Yeah. 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 We'd be bouncing off yeah. somebody's head. That's <laughs> right. Off the board, one of us. And, of course, Mr. Evans was responsible for picking the school athletics team to take part in the sports. And the beauty of that was that uh, he'd come in, in in the afternoons before the sports day and he'd pick the people who he'd want to go down onto the field and train with and practice with, wasn't it? Yeah, well, behind the school, see, we used to, it's not so good now, but it used to be a, an area we used to call the Tim. The old Tim, yeah. We used to go down there and play football and all our sports training for, for the sports day we did at the back of the school. And like I said, the best ones would win the sprint. That's right. And the worst ones would win the tunnel ball. I was always in the tunnel ball. And me. Who was your head teacher? No, that's a good Mr. Williams. No, Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis. Right, and now, do you want to have a guess what his first name was? And it's a, it's the best day of the year. Michael. Um. What's the best day of the year when you got all your presents? Christmas. Christmas. That's what right. some, somebody came in earlier and said Christmas Davis. That's what was his name, Mr. Christmas Davis. Yeah, you told me that before. Like he was our head teacher. He was. How was the school changed past those years? How many years? Uh, just a couple of years. Oh, couple. Oh, come. <laughs> Well, of course, the oh, swimming pool years. is gone. Yeah. So, you know, you, I don't know, you go to the sports centre, they're all indoors and you're all muddy cotton now because it's nice and warm in the water. Yeah. But in terms of the building, I mean, there's still, you can, well, in fact, I speak to people who are older than me and the layout of the school, in certain respects, is still the same as when they came to school. Mm. This is, you know, a long time before us. Yeah, I think you've got bigger classrooms now because mm. there's more children coming here when we come here. Probably twice as many children yeah. come here when we were here. And the juniors was down here, and the infants was up there. That's right. And so that's all changed. Yeah. There was two yards. There was no computers nowadays. No computers. Everything was written No mobile phones. No, everything was written on ink, and you had to make sure that you had your joined up right in, and everything was neat and tidy. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd have to write it again. 
even though you suffered from concussion because the teacher hit you across the head because you got it wrong. <laughs> okay, occasionally. Yeah. What was your best memory? <laughs> school sports day, I think, when all the schools used to get together. Yeah. And do you know, do you know when we drawn that is? Yeah. Yeah. We used to have to walk from here now mm. with all the, everybody in the school would go. All the people who were taking part would have the kit on, and all those who weren't would be coming to support us. And when you were going, you'd meet all the other schools coming from the same way. Yeah. And there'd be hundreds of people over there from that. And then when you won something, like the tunnel ball. What you listen to the tunnel ball? Following day, then when you'd have assembly, everybody in the school would be assembly, and the winning captain or the winning runner would be called up to have his cup of their teacher. Mm. And you'd bring them the balls. Mm, indeed. Indeed. Couldn't beat those days. <laughs> Yeah. But school, and in certain respects, it hasn't changed when you think of it. I mean, you know, when, when we were your age, we came to school, not in school uniform in those days, was it? No. You know, we were in ordinary clothes. And uh, you sat down and you learned your lessons and you took your homework home and you had to get it back by the following day. So, in that respect, things haven't changed. But um, for us, it, was, uh, it wasn't computers and wasn't. Keith said mobile phones, it was out playing football straight up the school, over the temp, mm -hmm. and you know, um, you were the discipline in school during the day, and then you were set free during the, during the evening. And the trouble was, all your teachers lived in there. Yeah, so they saw you. So they saw you in the night as well. Yeah. So if you did anything wrong in the night, when you come to school for the morning, you would be... Then you bring over it. Jenkins to Ed Master's room, please. That's right. And you think, uh-oh. That's right. And that wasn't good. Thank mm -hmm. you.